year's Polish Army Day, a large parade of military equipment returns to the streets of Warsaw after a three-year break. To mark the occasion, we took a look at some of the vehicles and aircraft that will be seen on Warsaw's streets and in the sky above the capital that day. There will indeed be a lot of modern, recently purchased equipment. There will also be equipment that has not yet de facto reached the equipment of the Polish Army, but will soon, reveals Lt. Jacek Piotrowski, press officer of the 1st Warsaw Armored Brigade, a day before the parade. Constant communication with the base. The equipment we will see at the parade will be largely based on electronics, and therefore equipped with sophisticated ICT systems, fire control systems or communication systems. All this allows commanders to make better decisions and communicate them more effectively to their subordinates. The staff plans, sets tasks, and the crew of a particular vehicle already knows what task it has. The staff also knows where and how this equipment is moving, what ammunition it has, how much it has left, what mistakes, if any, have occurred and how to neutralize them quickly, explains Lt. Piotrowski. Discrete tanks and elusive launchers. A treat for lovers of military hardware will be US-made Abrams tanks. They are distinguished by very good mobility, durable armor and a convenient fire control system. At the same time they are extremely quiet, because they are powered by a gas turbine. This tank can't be heard on the offensive, due to the fact that this engine runs very quietly compared to classic piston engines, says PFC Adam Kupniewski. Also from the United States come HIMARS, which are versatile, mobile and fast-acting rocket launchers. We can quickly type a designated target and within two minutes launch a missile and hide in a specific position, and we are elusive, says Private Dariusz Kraviak. White Hounds like F-16s. During the parade, it is also worth looking to the sky. It will feature aircraft that will arrive over Warsaw from the airport of the 41st Training Aviation Base in Dublin. Among them will be two-seat and twin-engine M346s, known as Belix. They are designed for advanced flight training. In terms of the jump between the aircraft I trained on, the TS-11 Iskra, and the current M346 aircraft, they are beyond comparison. It's a completely different generation, as if we were comparing the motorization of the 1970s with the motorization of the 21st century, says Captain Masiej Gersowa. The thing that immediately strikes the eye when you sit at the controls of the new aircraft is the glass cockpit. The three monitors visible on it replace the dozen or so analog clocks that pilots of previous generation machines had to deal with. Importantly, Pilots trained on the M346 are able to quickly switch to other modern aircraft, such as the F-16, as very similar solutions are used, 